Hello everyone, welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon with me, Lucky Loremaster, here at the Luckmore Estate. Okay, let's take a look at our stagecoach. Do we have our last plague doctor at last? No, we don't. Alright, well, gonna have to wait for Beth another week. Oh well. Look at that stress. Okay, well, I suppose the first thing we need to do before we deal with anybody's diseases over here are uh, to get rid of their stress. Or, you know, what order does it really matter that it's in? Let's just get rid of these awful diseases. I mean, does anyone else have disease other than us? The creeping cough is bad. Get rid of it. What do we have? We have vampiric spirits. Get rid of that. Alright, anybody else with the crazy diseases? I don't think anyone else is walking around with diseases right now. No? No, we're good. Alright, we just have to get stress. Stress effectively dealt with. So, I suppose we'll throw Polar in the penance hall. You get to, uh, whip yourself. Can we upgrade it? No, we can't. Whatever! Do it! Only through blood will I know absolution. Well, don't bleed too much. Alright, and Max, you're gonna get to go, uh, spread around your, uh, you know, your stuff. Fetch more pillows! And, uh, Dan and, uh, myself, we're going to have to wait until next week where our diseases are treated to actually be able to get, uh, stress. Because right now we're just dealing with disease rather than stress. Fantastic, huh? Okay. Wow. Let's see, what, uh, what are we gonna do now? Uh, let's take a look at the Nomad Wagon. Alright, just basic crap, nothing very good. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we did get that stress uh, releasing holiness book. Should probably give that to somebody who has real stress problems. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. This is a stress reducer that is less effective. You know what, D? I think you're going to need the book of holiness. I think 10% stress damage is negative stress damage isn't enough. You need 20% because uh, you got problems, problems that need helping. As for other people, who else is a stress magnet? Who else has been just cursed with dealing with horrible, horrible stress? I don't know, really. Let's take a look through the ranks. Martine, how's he doing? He's got some stress. Yeah, okay, Martine, you can have it. Less accuracy for a bit less dodge, but you already have a dodge boost, so you're awesome. Got the Moonring Legendary Bracer for when we decide to go play in the dark like a bunch of maniacs. There we go. Awesome. Well, the our masters are being dealt with, so that's fun for them. Alright, sort by activity, that's cool, but I also want to sort by our level. So sort by level and then by activity. Okay, these are our veterans who are not, uh, shitting their pants <laughs> explosively, so that's cool. Oh, we've got some people down here that need some leveling as well. Maybe I would gonna go with a party of David, Alexander, Meli, and Aslo. That might be a good team. Don't have any real dedicated healers, but we do have an effective stress relief. And as long as they keep the damage on in a low-level dungeon, we should be able to manage without too many difficulties. I actually want to go back really quick and check the blacksmith. Do I have enough deeds to finally get the last upgrade? No. I need four more deeds, and I can finally make it as cheap as can be. Which is what I really want to do, because it's going to save us a lot of money in the long run, and that's really important. It's, we're going to suffer now for it, but it'll be worth it later. Okay. Where shall we go next? Uh, we're definitely going to do an apprentice level dungeon. Oh wait, David won't go if we do that. No, he will not go. Um, hmm. Well, maybe we'll take Mickey instead. Alright, what do we got here? What's this? Stunning Satchel for Grave Robber. 30% stun skill chance. What does the Grave Robber do with stun? Oh yeah, it's her one of her abilities, the Shadow Fade. That's what it does. That's pretty good. Mm, let's see what else there is. Berserk Charm. More speed, more damage, more stress. Less accuracy, less virtue chance. Ugh. What we got here? Another Book of Holiness. And a lot of deeds for a long mission. I'm tempted by that. And this for a Bloodthirst Ring. No food. More hit points, less dodge. Well, that's actually surprisingly good. Don't consume any food, so you don't even have to carry the food. 
and you get bonus hit points and you just lose a little bit of dodge. That's not bad at all, and it's a common item that's fantastically good. So right now, I'm actually kind of split between this extermination long mission, which is, I think, yeah, all room battles, for another Book of Holiness, or uh, this little adventure here in the cove. Well, let's see. If this is the team that we're going to go with because we want to level them up, let's see. If we get Alexander here, if we get Melly the second here, if we get Asmo in the rear line, and uh, Mickey going close in. The Motley Misfits. Wow, it even has a name for this combination. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We got, uh, we've got upfront fighting skills, we've got stress relief in the form of songs, we've got throwing daggers that can hit guys in the back, we've got uh, bleed. We don't really have any blight attacks, and blight attacks are really important if you're going to cope. So I think going to the wield is probably a safer bet for this team. It's a long mission, but it is apprentice level, so I think we'll be able to handle it. Let's stop back to the... Yeah, to the blacksmith and make sure everyone has the proper skills or upgrades. There we go, upgrade Alexander's stuff. Now we can upgrade her stuff. Asimo can do that too. And so can Mickey. Alright, so it's definitely worth stopping back at the blacksmith to get our equipment upgraded. What about other stuff? Do we need any skills? We've got all the skills here, all the ones there, all the ones there. Okay. Do we want to spend gold on improving skills right now? Huh. What would this heal do? It would make it... Alright, let's improve Mickey's heal just in case we need it. Because I don't think Asmo has any heals at all. Nor does Melly. She can just drink a potion to help herself. And yeah, we're not going to have any heals, so I, we're tight on money. That's all I really want to spend it on. All right, good. We got the team line up. We know what we're down to do. Let's go. Let's not waste any more time. All right, let's see. going to get holy water. We're going to get the full stack shovels because, yeah, it's a long mission. And it is the wield, so that's going to be relevant. Medicinal herbs are going to be important here, no doubt about it. Uh, wow, we have a lot of torches available. Let's take... Maybe some anti-venom. Good stack of that. Let's take all the food we can carry. Of course, that isn't even a question, especially for a long mission like this one. And lots of torches. I think maybe even more than a double stack might be appropriate. Let's just get three stacks of torches. All right, are we missing anything? We got holy water. We got... We're not really going to need keys, are we? No, I don't think so. It's very rare to find chests out there. Okay, and I've got um, shovels. Alright, let's go with this. Hopefully uh, this will be enough for everything. Let's go team! If you live for risk in darkness, by all means bring few torches. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen. Considering what happened uh, last time. Man, these are veteran level uh, areas. You know, you think you're ready for them and then... They show you very rapidly how not ready you are for them. <laughs> Good God. Whew. Okay. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Alright, Mickey, you may end up actually being our healer. This gives stress, and this gives hit points. Uh... Hmm, two or three versus one, and that helps with Stress Heal and Torch, actually. I think we're going to use the Battle Heal for now, and you're going to be our kind of niche healer, just for getting people with a few hit points up in case that's really necessary. Alright, Alex, what do we want to do with you? That's for the people who get marked, and that's for... Yeah, I'd say it would be pretty good here to be able to flashbang stun enemies. Good to finish them off when they're stunned, good to mark them, and then hit them for extra damage when they're marked. That's, those are both good combos. Flashing daggers, uh, also good for hitting the mid-row. Thrown daggers for anything but the front. Poison darts for the front. I don't think she has anything else that's good for the front, does she? Lunge moves her around. Pick to the face actually might be good. And pick to the face, she can hit the first three targets, and it's got a really good chance of crit. So we'll stick with that. Attacks and Trickery, it can boost her dodge and her speed, and cure Blight and Bleed if she gets hit with it. 
Yeah, Shadow Fate and Lunge are for moving around. Poison Darts aren't going to be that effective here in the wield. I don't think so. All right, and for Bleeding, Asmo is our man. We definitely have him playing his songs. You can't, you can't slice off here in the back row, sadly. You can't do that. You can't do slice off or harvest. I wonder if we switch their positions, whether that would be okay. She can do this back row. She can't do that back row. We took this off. She can do poison darts in the back row, though. Okay, so he can do everything that she wants to do in the back row, so we'll switch their positions. You'll go here, and Asma will go there. We both have a, the same kind of hit point, really, so... That doesn't really affect things too much. Alright, here's our here's our map. We got a long, long dungeon. I guess we're gonna go up here, down, left, and then around. Let's do this. We are here to wipe out all the room battles. Exterminate all the enemies. And we come up to a eerie spider web. Uh, we know that... I forgot bandages. Holy shit, I forgot bandages. I can't believe I forgot bandages. Let's go for it. Well, we got lucky. Treasures were hidden. Two onyxes, that's a thousand gold right off the bat. Things are looking good already. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. And look at these fellas. Oh, well, they're surprised. That's a fantastic start. Alright, flashing daggers without question. Get the, the hurt going. Very nice damage already. Okay, I think it's time to start the bleed. Oh, nice hit, Asmo! Wow, that's a solid hit. Alright, uh, maybe... What can we do here? Can we finish you off? No, it's not likely. Maybe we should stun the dog. Yeah, because the dog can inflict disease, and I freaking hate that. More than anything, I hate that. So let's stun the dog and knock him back. And then we could... Is the bleak gonna kill him? No, it's not. He needs to die. Continue the onslaught. Oh, yeah. Destroy them all. All right, this one's gonna take a swipe at us, but... Uh, Unnerved. Unbalanced. All right, we might have to start doing a little stress relief for Alex preemptively here. We don't want to get anybody uh, too uh, whacked out. And there's the marked prey. We do not want that to happen, because now he's uh, the final fungal scratcher. It's gonna start getting extra damage. We can't have that happen. So, um, what are we gonna do about that? Uh, we gotta go for the group damage, though. It's so, the damage is so good. Let's go for it. Nine and six. That is sweetness right there. All right, Rab Rush. Woo! Dodged. Nice job, Melly. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do? What do we wanna do? We wanna. Huh. How's his bleed? Two. If we hit him with this, we might actually be able to hurt him enough that he'll bleed. We'll kill him. Let's try to slice off. Four damage. That's solid. We get the bleed. Yeah, the bleed's gonna kill him. Fungal Scratcher is dealt with. Now we can do a uh, collect a mounty. Oh no, we gotta go with the finish him. And try to attack this thing in the back. Oh, he dodged. Damn it. And here comes the Ring of Blight. Whoa. The runs. Congratulations, Melly. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. You've got the runs already. Oh, it's wonderful. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Hi there, little doggy. I have to kill you now. Or can she? Yes, she can. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that. Oh, wow. Maybe this is... They're getting real aggressive on us here. Luckily the surprise did not shift us around too badly. We'll do, uh, you know, throw... Oh my... God, that was an enormous hit. Man, Ellie with these crits. I'm loving it here. Let's see if we can get rid of this uh, acolyte. As the Good hit, Alexander. A faint hope blossoms. All right, rending for the old gods. Ooh, three damage. Luckily, no bleed or debuff. Well, I suppose we can play some songs, like some inspiring tunes. Woo! You can do it, Alex. There's nothing to worry about. How about we read you a zealous accusation? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, they, they melted pretty fast. 
Mob of the Night, petty damage. Petty, petty damage. And more stress relief, because, you know, use the opportunity. It's what it's for. And, yeah, we can just throw a dagger at you to kill you. Masterfully oh. executed. Wow. God, these hits are huge. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Well, this is starting out much better than last time. I think it's because our heroes have a bit of experience going in, and this is still a, an apprentice level dungeon. Oh, hey. Well, ectoplasms and acolytes. This is not a pleasant combination. Might as well get that damage going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot to swap these two out. Uh, buffs! Everyone have buffs. Buffs are good. Buffs to speed, accuracy, and crit. That's all solid. One each stress. Right off, uh, right off there. Finish her! That's much good. Oh, that's much good. Much good. We speak English good. That is fantastic. Okay. Uh, you guys need to go. Like so. Alright, we can do the Throne Dagger to target her in the back. Solid hit. And she's gonna be pulling... No, no, she's not gonna be pulling anything. Because of dodge. Finish him. Thank you, Alex. And now it's just that thing in the back. Alright, let's swap out. And, uh... I don't know, heal Alex. Hey, crit heal for four! Look at that banner, it's just sexy. And we can get rid of you. Goodbye. Oh, all these crits, that'll help with stress. Oh, hey! This expedition at least promises success. Extra shovel. Pristine fountain. Looks unaffected by the surrounding chaos. Uh, let's play with it. Fountain reinvigorates the hero. Woo! Stress relief. Not like any of us were really that badly stressed to begin with, but... Whatever. Sack is empty. Moving on. Oh boy! Maggots! And somehow they caught us completely unaware despite all this torchlight. Run away! Uh, yeah. Well, I guess we're just gonna start hacking through them. And you are gonna run all the way away. damage. And nibbles. No, I don't like the nibbles. Luckily we're resisting the stuns. That is incredibly fortuitous. However, they are piling on the damage, which I don't like. And we need to switch up even to use anything, but Mickey, he has to be up front. Alright, now that we're back here, goodbye. Goodbye, sir. And, uh, yeah, actually, they should ideally be uh, rotated. They still... Oh, actually, they're going for rank 3 for some reason. Those rank 3 people, they need to be brought down a peg, apparently. Ooh. Silence. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Unburned torch! Always love three torches. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Yucky ectoplasms, but they're surprised, so they're as good as dead. Uh, goodbye. You will all be dying very soon, don't worry about it. It's just how these things happen when you get completely surprised by a superior force! Uh, slice off, that'll be fun. A singular strike! Wow. I'd say you sliced off of enough of it there, as well. Don't need to be slicing off anymore. Be wary. A triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. You don't have to remind me. We know. We know. Although you did tell us that last time when we had no pride at all and everyone was freaking out thinking they were about to die. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. More surprises. 
Okay, well, uh, squish. Man, that axe chop is so satisfying. This makes me feel all tingly inside. Oh, uh, that wasn't what I meant to use, but it works. Um, uh, slice you. Goodbye. And, uh, yeah, Mickey, take a swing. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Extra shovels. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I don't think we're going to need an extra shovel. We already have four. That's a full stack, so let's just move on. Man, we are getting so lucky with these surprises. I mean, we're keeping the torch light up, but I didn't think it would be that much of a bonus. Plus two, I suppose. Alright, Flash and Daggers! Mmm! That is... Solidly beautiful hits. Harvest? Both dead. These two are the mid rank killers right here. Oh, we have a bunch of corpses on our way. Don't have any skills for getting rid of those, so I guess. Would this do it? Mm, not quite. Not quite enough damage. Yeah, that was real nice how you tried to pull us there. Hey, guess who you're in range of? Everyone. Uh, yep, goodbye. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Oh, Cress and Bus. Uh, what are we gonna get rid of for it, though? I guess we're just gonna have to drink these holy waters. Um, I don't know, give it to Asmo, I suppose? Alright, that gives us more room. Oh, nope, just enough room, actually, in order to put things where they need to go. Mm, let's check out this dead end. Might have room battles down here. Don't want to have to backtrack if there are. Stash heirlooms. Sweet. Lots of money. Hunger. Oh, I think we're doing fine on food. Yeah, that was just our first hunger problem. We haven't really had to eat any to heal up, so we're good. Wow, empty room. Curious. Oh, here we go. I really love the, uh, what's the term? The, uh, aesthetic. The aesthetic of the wield. It's got a really uh, lovely art style. It's very atmospheric. And it kind of brings you into the game. And that was it. There was nothing out here. Unfortunate, considering we had to blow a shovel to find a dead end with no treasure or anything else, but... We didn't get any lucky scouts, so... Not much we could have done about that. Let's keep the torch light up, because it's the smart thing to do. And then I think it's just one little room off to the side here, and then the rest just circles around at the end. Which is not as long as I anticipated this uh, dungeon to be. I would have thought it would have been bigger. What do we have here? We have an old tree. Uh, anti-venom. That's what does it here. Thorough search. Gold and a rot gut sensor. More accuracy for less hit points for the plague doctor. Oh, I don't know what the hell we're gonna give up. Maybe blow torches? The light. The promise of safety. I don't think we need this many torches. We'll just take that instead. Uh-oh. Yeah, we are gonna just dig in the ground. Without a shovel, but luckily you resist the blight. Aren't you supposed to be a professional grave robber? Who just digs with their hands? Gosh, Ellie. Yeah, you are crazy. Back we go. Okay, now we're in a decent formation again. Uh, let's kill you. Yes. We are able to take out these uh, disgusting little ectoplasms very quickly, which is something I like. Uh, let's do a stress heal on Melly to get her down where the rest of the crew is. I want to keep people nice and chill, just in case something horrible happens all of a sudden. Cytokinesis! Grievous injury. Yep, that's the one that do me. Fear. You know, I, I... No, we're not afraid right now. We're not afraid at all, actually. <laughs> this is not the thing we're worried about. Uh, no, not in the slightest. Oof! Man, you can feel that. Oh, you can't do anything. 
I'll get her stress back down for her one damage crit. Oh my god, we're gonna die! I only have 19 hit points. Ectoplasmic perfusion. Oh my god, they can make a big one. Oh, I didn't know they could do that. Uh -huh. It's got 20% protection, too. Well, time to start chopping away at the big one. Okay, you... Wait, can you hit both? Yes, you can. Good, that gets rid of that one, and now we can get rid of this one. That's what matters. It's debuffed, but I would rather have it marked so Alex can hit it like a truck. Marked. You are gonna die. Uh, especially if we buff up the Battle Ballad. So people have an extra crit chance. That might make it even sexier. Oh, there's Cytokinesis in. Uh, we're gonna get another big one? No, we're gonna get a small one. Well, we can get rid of you. Pretty easily. Alright, now it's time. Can we get the Collect Bounty? Oh, god, I'm just waiting for that right now. 13 damage. That's a solid hit. And now it's time to collect the bounty. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. You are marked. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. That is all that can be done. Oh, wait, not you. Uh, hold on. One click. You! You are the one who needs swapping. There we go. Oh. Huh. Well, this could have been a problem, except we caught them with their head up their ass. So that's that's good. That's that's real good. Uh, you are gonna die. Um slice off a big part of your face. Yeah, that's the bleed I love. Uh, Zealous Accusation might actually hurt you enough so that you die of your bleed. No, it wouldn't. Uh, let's try to kill you then. Oh well. Close enough. Eldritch Push. Oof. And way back we go. Sorry, Mickey. Groping Swipe? More damage. That is a significant amount of hit points for your frail frame. Especially when they all just pile up on you. That's bad. We're gonna have to give him some food. Yeah, this needs to stop. Right now that needs to stop. And you need to come up to the, the line where people can hurt you. Stress for Mickey. It's a curious target. How about we hurt you real bad? Mm. Yeah, that's that is sweetness right there. Aww, I'm so sad. I hate it when we miss. It's gonna feel all horrible. Groping swipe. Luckily, Mickey's got plenty of hit points. He can take hits like that. What do we have going on here? Let's do a thrown dagger. Maybe we can finish her off. We sure can. Now it's just this big dumb thing. Uh, well, we can't slice off and we can't harvest, so I guess we're gonna try some stress relief on Mickey. Because we might as well. Mm. Yeah, let's mark you first. You're gonna die now. Death is coming. Get ready for it. Anyone? Yeah, I think maybe a little few heals here for, uh... For poor, poor... Esmo definitely uh, called for. The corpse is back there, just bleeped out. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright, we can throw poison darts, even though you are resistant against blight, we do at least have a chance. Nope, no blight. But we did get a debuff. That's cool. Impressive. Wow. <laughs> he just snorts. <laughs> just like that. As victories like a pig. Mode. So too will resistance. A vicious, angry piggy. All right, everybody. Food is what keeps you alive. Take food, so we can take gold. All right. Who wants to play with a fountain? The fountain of love. I guess it'll be lucky. There we go. Twenty stress relief. And yeah, we're making great progress. Have we even used our first campfire? Yet? We haven't. Wow, 
Okay, this madman needs to go immediately. That that guy just needs to die. Can we do a direct throne dagger on him? Yes, we can. Oh, fucking... Excuse me. He <laughs> dodged. Oh, I really didn't need him to dodge right there. That's bad. Because he is just a giant stress machine. Ooh, how about we slice you in half? Ooh, that works. That, that's effective. Slicing them in half. Um, <laughs> okay, let's uh, get a smite in. Alright, because, yeah, these guys, they can't do anything about him all the way back there. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going to be taking our first camp uh, campfire after we're done with these nasty customers. Well, until we get to the room afterwards, anyway. Okay, we can't get to him, but we need to. So let's harvest to get rid of that corpse, and that'll bring him into the third row. Now he's much more vulnerable. Ooh, almost got him with that. Just a couple hit points left, and of course... He gets to get to play with some crazy. Gets to do his crazy before he dies. Um, ooh. Well, whatever. Feel the pain. Feel the pain. We're just gonna have to hack you guys down. Slowly and surely. Oh, that's not too bad of damage. They don't have anyone to mark us, so it's not gonna be that bad. Okay. Uh, yeah. Throne dagger on you. Damn, that was a lucky bowl there. Max damage. Uh, who did we kill? You. Oh, well, I think the bleed will do it. Yes, the bleed will do it. But you're actually, that's the only one you can hit, so let's do some stress relief on yourself. There we go. That's effective. And do we want to show you zealous, uh, litigation? No, we don't. Alright, well this one is going to get one more round, but the other one will not. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. You know, I don't feel bad about killing these mushroom men monsters. That, uh, doesn't make me feel bad at all. Whoa, what do we got? Deeds, skeleton key, emeralds, and a bleed charm. Does anyone have any, uh, free slots? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we definitely want those deeds, uh, so what are we chucking? We are gonna chuck... Anti-Venom. The key we're gonna leave behind, Bleed Charm, is it better than the one that you have? Uh, this is Bleed Skill Chance for Bleed Resistance. And this is just Bleed Resistance, that's not really worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this stuff right here. You could use some food, uh, cause, you know, you're not awesome that way. Not awesome amount of food there, Mickey. So yeah, I'll let you guys eat up. Good, stop playing with the corpses! He's gonna get another disease. Wow, she actually resisted the disease. Fantastic. Oh, you're gonna do it again before I even get to click on it. Millie. Fascinated with corpses. That needs to go. Because that's kind of a big problem. That is making things very awkward. Okay. Campfire time. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Alright. People are good on health. They're good on stress. Oh, maybe she can use her stuff box to get rid of her diseases. I'll try it. Oh wait, she only supposed to use it on someone else? I don't think anyone else is diseased. Um, uh, try it on you anyway? She got rid of her runs! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, that is perfect, actually. Now she doesn't have anything. Oh, I love that ability. Alright, what do we got? Turn back time, every rose has its thorns. Wound care. You can do a Zealous Vigil, Stand Tall. Zealous Vigil prevents nighttime ambush. I like that. I don't want to get jumped in the night. That really gets to me when that happens. Alright, this is how we do it. it, is for himself. Plan Takedown is for himself. Self-buff. And we got Pep Talk. 
Oh, let's just play some instruments. Listen here, every night has its dawn. And this is how we do it. Even towering beasts can be killed with well placed blow. Things are going according to plan. I'm ready for battle. Let them come. Sleep calls when we touch strength. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, and we got a lucky scout. That is fantastic. Well, we gotta go this way no matter what, because there's a room battle and there's a trap, which is all you, Millie. Uh, look for mushrooms. There they are. Thankfully, it wasn't a corpse, so you didn't have to play with it. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Okay, let's dive right in. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. All right, these do, these can target us, which will make them do extra damage, so bastards in the back need to go fast. A devastating blow. Nice intro. All right, let's get a finish. It probably won't be enough, but we that's the only way you can hit back there. Okay, that's solid. Can we go with a harvest and still do enough damage? I think so. He'll die. This one will die a bleed. This one we might be able to help die a bleed as well, as long as we get a good five damage hit in it. Only four. Ugh. The slow death. How are you gonna do? Unforeseen. Unforgiving. You got your one hit point left, but we dodged your swipe. Oh, aren't you feeling silly? Mark prey. Uh, yep. Now they're gonna go for Mickey. That's where he's gonna go right away. Red right to the marked. Oh. More damage, that's no more than they normally do. That's weird. It's very weird. I don't know what the hell happened there. Goodbye! You're dead now, goodbye. Alright, you're gonna get you're gonna die too. Splat. Yeah, I think uh, getting those blacksmith upgrades before we came here was a fantastic choice. Because we are just wiping the floor with this dungeon compared to the last one. Then I think the because the characters are at a higher experience level relative to the dungeon, they can still do it, but they're on the higher end of it. I think that's what's making this more, so much more manageable for them, which uh, I'm not complaining about. After that nightmare we had last time, I I could use a bit of a break <laughs> from Heart Attack Central here. Hey, at least the whole party didn't have Heart Attacks. So that's the optimistic way to look at it. We need to die. Ooh. This one was worth a lot. Damn. Hot, sexy stuff going on over here. I don't know why people are just getting stressed out walking around. It's not like it's getting that dark or anything. I suppose it's just a random chance of happening. There is a curio and a trap. Ooh, more gold. Okay, this is pretty sweet. Trap. Oh, uh, you're the best, Melly. Except when we have to deal with corpses, then you're the worst. And you are the absolute worst person you could have. <laughs> okay, what's up? What's up? Nothing. Alright, what are we gonna get? We're we gonna get the whole dungeon here? No. Um. Hmm. I don't wanna do this. Uh, I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna go back the way we came. I'm confident we can deal with the, the hallway fights as extra. These have not been very dangerous. And the maggots don't even leave corpses. How lovely are they that they don't do that? It's so sweet. Everyone gets to whack a maggot. Except for Mickey because he's slow. But uh, I think that's because of trinkets, right? Yeah, he has trinkets that... What is it? This one. Gives him uh, more accuracy for being a bit slower. I won't complain. More accuracy. Wow. Do I actually want to try this? I know what it does, and I have lots of torches. My party is in good shape. 
but this could go horribly sideways very quickly. Let's finish the other rooms. Okay, we'll eat our food. We'll finish the other rooms, and if we're in good enough shape that I feel like we can try that out for the very first time, we'll do it. And if it turns into an absolute nightmare immediately, then we'll run away. Ugh. God, you eat gorgeous fruit! Oh, great! You found some extra food and it didn't give you a disease. What do you know? Fiddling around with corpses actually pays off. Every once in a... Every once in a blue moon. Oh, look at this combination here. Alright, let's, uh, let's start with what we know. 7 and 6. Nice. Getting the debuffs and harvest. Where should we go for the bleed off? Can the slice off kill him? It could. Alright, what about the bleed? Uh, nope, it's not gonna do it. We do have to do the finish him. Alright, that one's gone. One less enemy to Marcus. Just like that. At least the mark is so weak that it doesn't do any damage. Well, time to take the pain, Alex. I'm sorry. Well, we can just uh, do our best by killing off these ones that are bleeding and otherwise in bad shape. Ooh. We can deal with it. Alex has a pretty solid amount of hit points, 30 hit points. Can he finish him? Sure can. Get his payback there. Alright, let's do a thrown dagger on this guy in the back. Small chance. Well, actually, if she crits, that's when she can kill it. But no crit for us. Oh well. Um. He, all he can really do is get rid of corpses in the middle or buff us. Or relieve his own stress. You know what? If we're gonna try that stuff later, we wanna make sure everybody's stress is real low before we even entertain doing anything other than that. Damage is a solid hit against something that has 33% protection. Stop hitting him! Oh, that's freaking annoying. Rain of Blight. Uh, yep, there's some Blight. 4-6 health, too. I don't like that, but nothing we can do about that. Have him throw a dagger in its face to make sure it never does it again. Uh, yeah, I think collect bounty. 5 damage, not bad. One more solid hit and it should be gone. Do we have anything to treat that? No, we don't. So, um, yeah. Battle Ballad. We're gonna go now. Well, hey. We do have someone. Oh, yeah, it gave the treatment to us. So nice of these enemies. Alright, um, can we do the torches more? No. So we definitely are going to drop those extra torches. And, uh, got an onyx. What are we going to trade for that? I don't think we're going to be needing all these shovels. Yeah, I guess the shovels are going. It's very unlikely. Yeah, uh, one last hallway. Is there going to be an obstacle? Nope, no obstacles. We brought way too many shovels. Odd thing to do once you're in the wheel. Very odd thing, because usually, uh... They disappear awful fast around here. Oh, hello. Alright, um, can she kill with the Throne Dagger? She has a good chance to. Oh, minimum damage roll. That sucks. No diseases, please. Oh, here comes the bleed. Here comes a more bleed. Oh, no, I resist it. Good. Resist those bleeds. Alright, which one of them's hurt? That one's hurt. How badly is it hurt? Bad enough to kill. Sweet. Alright, that one can still take a turn. I don't know why it hasn't yet. I'm not gonna ask questions. Especially not when that happens. Thank you, Alex. Okay, solid hit. And uh, one more hit uh, from the first person this round will do it. Very nice. We're not a room for gold? What's going on here? I guess we're dumping the medicinal herbs. Alright, oh, it's a grave, and we don't have any shovels. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay, good. She didn't look at it. She didn't look at it. My goodness. Alright. Let's go in here. Let's 
get this uh, final room battle done with. All right, we surprised them. We got lucky. We've been getting really, really lucky on this one. But hey, I'm not complaining. All right, flashing daggers. Damage in on the ones at the back. People who can hit the rear should hit the rear. All right, get in some harvest. Wow, that sounded really inappropriate. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, collect bounty. Can we... No, we should execute, definitely. Execute on you. And can we kill this dog? Only if we get really lucky hit. Ah, one hit point short. Oh, it's not a dog. I love dogs. It's a rabid, undead, gnasher, horrible beast monster. Totally not a good dog. Bad, bad dog. Ooh, resisted the disease. That was very lucky as well. And they're uh, doing some inappropriate groping. Do not appreciate that in the slightest. We're gonna take care of you for doing that. That's very nice of you. Any damage? Mm, could have been better. I think it's a good time to uh, slice off a large limb of his. Now he will... no, not die on the next one, so I want to get the dog. The doggies can be the biggest problems with their diseases, so that's the first to go. Oh, why are you stacking up so many lights and bleeds on him? Oh, three times in round. Stinks. You know what? I guess it's time to heal him, otherwise he's just going to hemorrhage away all his hit points. I really can't have Asmo doing that right now. Can go without. A decisive pummeling. Well, there goes that stress. Just one piece at a time, sweet thing. Melly does not actually sound like that. People who listen to my videos probably know that, but that's okay. Just making sure. Hey, how about you get rid of all your stress? Yeah, there you go. Everyone's chilled out now, except for me. But still, he's only got like six. Whatever. Die. Die and be dead. Whatever, we're leaving that. But we're not done here, are we? No, we're not. We're not done here. We do have a little bit left to go. We're gonna give this a shot. We had a good dungeon. We got one little room, a uh, hallway battle with a stupid maggot with some spitters. Let's just take care of these guys. Oh, come on. Did it really have to be a minimum damage roll? One hit point short. Harvest. There we go. Oh, we got a bleed on him. Whatever. Uh, kill. Kill! 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 A death by inches. I'll take a death by inches. Uh, we have some bus. What are we... What are we gonna get rid of? Hmm. There is really nothing good to get rid of here. Unless we want to get rid of the rot gut sensor. That's not a bad item. Uh... I guess I'll dump a portrait in exchange for two bus. It is obviously one more. So, can't really complain. Nice treasure? Yes, nice treasure. It's piling up now. Okay, this is going to be the last thing we do here. We are going to rest in this room. We are going to buff us ourselves up to high hell. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Alright, nobody has stress. It's all about wounds. So, wound care for him. Uh, zealous Vigil, we don't want to get jumped. Uh, wound care for... you. Okay. And do we have any nice self buffs? Stand tall, that's reducing stress. We could do another wound care. That means we only will have two points for a buffer. It's, it's more important that we have hit points. That's for negative stress damage. That's for disease. I guess negative stress damage um, on... I don't know... Uh, you. You are our stress relief, so that's what you're gonna do. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Alright. Have a little bit of food, because, you know, we got some left, why not? And we'll rest. Nothing to fear. We got our hit points back up. We don't have any food left. We got plenty of torches. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this nightmare and see what happens. 
Place a torch if you crave the void. Whoa. Terrifying figure emerges the from the much worse dark darkness. Okay, we are in total darkness, and here is a shambler. And we appear to be in some other dimension. So that's cool. Um. Okay. He's got 33% protection, too. So bleeding will be important. He has to die. This will actually lower his protection. That's good. Um, is he resistant to blight? No. Poison dart time. Come on, we didn't even get that. You need to go all the way back here. Odorous advancement. Okay, no damage. But it made it bleed and it's bleeding everyone and it made two little friends. They only have eight hit points, they have a lots of dodge and lots of speed. Alright, can we kill one? We could kill one. Alright, it's seven damage, it's a good hit. Uh top of the round, they are going fast first. Clapper claw. Alright, did a little damage. Got a buff. What's the buff? 50% damage, 25% protection, 3 speed, 20% accuracy, and 3 crit. Okay, so we know that it's a game of get rid of these things as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, yeah. Um, shit. Okay, they're weak against Blight. So, that's gonna do lots of damage regardless of how much protection he has. Because they only have 8 hit points. And he, he missed his attack, so he's actually not going to get to do it. Should we... we got to get rid of these things before they get crazy buffed out to hell. Uh, yeah, we just got to kill them. It sucks, I really want to go after the Shambler monster that looks like something out of a nightmare, but... Can't really. Uh, we need to switch because you need to be able to attack as well. Um, can we actually hit you? We might be able to, come on. Five damage, that's good. Will the Blight actually kill it? I think it will, yes. And it gets to bleed us again. And it made another little baby. I'm noticing a pattern here. Every time it hits us, it makes a baby. And these babies apparently grow very quickly. Alright, it's not boosted yet, so let's get the Blight stack, if we can, on Mr. Fugly here. Alright, we got a Blight. And we got a debuff, and he's still marked. Good. Dodge the Clapper Claw, that's good. Yeah, we're bleeding, there's not much we can do about that. Um, how about you get to your revenge by making him bleed? There we go, he's bleeding and blighted. That's, that's good progress right there. Uh, I think it's probably more important, considering how slow Mickey is, that this thing die. Unless it dodges. Okay, it's actually Mickey's turn. Mickey, please kill this. Oh, thank goodness. Like, I don't, I just don't want these things to get like ramped up, or otherwise we're totally boned. And it spews gross stuff at us. It spreads a blight to Mickey, and now there are two more of these. And they're so fast that at the top of the round, they're gonna get to hit us for nothing. Oh god, my bleed is really starting to stack up. I think getting a double hit here would probably do us the most good. Uh, there we go. And then... Probably the same thing with Harvest. How much damage? 2 to 3, and the bleed might be able to kill it as well. Precision. And we're just a powerful hit. Well done. Thing is, is that we're all steadily draining out our hit points, and that's bad because we need to be hurting him. Big time. So he's got to get marked. You have to be a target now. We have to get rid of your protection and hurt you as much as possible. And I bet this is going to make more bleeding and more blights and more babies. I'm kind of noticing the trend of how this fight goes. Ah, oh, god damn it, this is a pain in the ass. Alright, let's just try to go for a hit. Alright, good. Excellent work, Mickey. We got rid of the new one. This one, however, is going to get buffed even more, isn't it? Yep, five damage this time. 
And now he's got 100% more damage, 50% more protection, which means we have to use poison darts on him. Unless it uh, just decides to dodge, because, you know, why not? Okay, maybe it's time to collect a bounty. Yes, thank you, Alexander. That may have just got us able to win this fight. Oh my god. Uh, you can attack him, so we're just going to slice off. Slice, slice, and slice that thing until it dies. 11 damage per round, that's good. We might actually be able to kill this thing. Alright, more damage over time effects, and we got shuffled and stressed. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage over time. Um, yeah, let's just go full on him. We have to kill this thing. Alright, 5 damage, that's good. Oh, wow, will he actually bleed out? No, it's not quite enough yet. Oh, 13 damage, Clapper Claw hit. Alexander's at death's door. And he's still blighted. Uh, no, he's not alright, actually. He's doing terrible. Um, let's throw the poison darts. Oh, we got the blight. I think he's gonna die. Oh, no, he's not quite weak enough. Shit. Alright, you gotta go to the back. Resist the blight at death's door. That's fantastic. He's not quite weak enough. We gotta get rid of him. Do a finish him. Oh, I really need to get a not miss there. I don't want you to die. He has to get a battle heal. I can't lose Alexander to this. Alright, 8 damage. One more round, we'll get rid of him. One more round. Injury and despondence. Mm. Set the stage for heroism. Uh, and this thing is gonna hurt like hell. 9 damage now. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything back there. That sucks for you. You gotta move. Please. Please kill this thing. Oh, yes. Perhaps the turning point. Alex is back at death's door, but we did manage to kill that thing off, so it's awesome. And his resolve is tested. Courageous! Courageous Alexander! A moment of valor shines brightest against the backdrop of despair. Tis tough, but not tough enough. Can you possibly kill this thing with its insane protection? How much protection does it have by now? Let's take a look. 75% more. And it has... Wow. God, this is only going to reduce the protection by 10%, too. But we can only hit it for a tiny amount of damage. And does it have stun resistance? Does it get more stun resistance? It doesn't. Maybe that's what we need him to do. We need him to move back and just try to... Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know, I just need this thing to die. No, don't, don't, don't you dare. Oh my god. And it just keeps going. Alright, we need to get these two up front. And shuffle them forward. Yeah, and you need to go here. And now we're actually back in formation here. Keep yourself together. It ain't so bad. Well, at least you're keeping a positive attitude. That, that helps a lot. Let's try a flashbang. Come on, get that stun. Okay, it's stunned. Alright, then it's gonna lose its turn. We can't really do much damage to it, though. Uh, what is this gonna do? Two to three? It's better than nothing. Unless you miss. Then it's really not so useful. And it's back. Okay, poison darts might be our only chance to actually reliably kill this thing. Unless it resists the blight. That sucks so bad. Um, let's go for crit chance. Crit chance might be the thing that saves the day. Uh, get the flashbang, is it going to have any chance? It's got 90% versus 125. How much would a hit do? 2 to 4. We gotta try it. We can't let this thing hit us. Oh, shit. No more death door. You're not going to die. Not allowed. No one here is allowed to die. This is the last freaking shambler baby, psychophant, whatever it is. We're not gonna lose people with this goddamn thing. Entering on the brink, facing the abyss. Alright, Tasmo. Now weakened. Come on, poison darts. Well struck. Yes! Oh my god, and it's three damage for five rounds. This will kill it. We just have to stay alive. We just have to stay alive. Keep yourselves together. Alright, well, he's, he's healing everybody's stress. That's awesome. 
four damage. That's awesome. I think, yeah, I think that's actually going to kill it. I think with the Blight, that'll... Yes! Wow, good heal, Mickey. I think this is going to get rid of it. Oh, 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 we did it. We beat the Shambler. And we got Ancestor's Bottle. 25% maximum hit points and 10% more stress damage. And no one died. It's time to leave the dungeon. The agents wow. of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. I know it was an apprentice shambler, but we went into that fight like completely healed with practically no stress. We didn't really have any buffs, but even then, it led half the team on death's door and us desperately trying to get rid of the one little freaking monster that was able to buff itself into oblivion. Ugh. So what'd we get? We got levels up, that's cool, deadly, 1% crit, steady, negative 10 stress damage, wield scrounger, 10% scouting chance of the wield, and diurnal, negative 2 speed if torch gets below 26. Oh, we finally... Uh, <laughs> we got the Shambler and we didn't lose anyone. I, uh, yeah, I can't play this game anymore. I, I feel exhausted after that fight. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. That's good. Level ups. Gone. Disease is gone. No longer abusive. No longer abusive. Oh, wow. That's... that's great. Uh, how about stress? People, uh, they have what you might call stress. Maybe we should deal with all this stress. You can get stuff, can't you? Can we get rid of... yeah, we can get another penance hall. Give me another one. Okay. You... and you get to play whip yourselves. Alright, have fun whipping yourselves like that. Alexander! Oh, that's expensive. I'm gonna go to the tavern instead. It's much cheaper just to drink. Don't become an alcoholic again. Can't deal with this crap. You guys are gonna get drinking. And Martin, Pedro, Mickey, you guys are all around 30. That's really not enough that I'm willing to spend money on it. So we got the stress, the stress people. The stress people are dealing with it. Do we have anyone who's diseased and needing of the sanitarium's medical treatments? Disease, disease, disease. Do we have any disease? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it, so I would say that, uh, we are pretty much good for gold there. That's pretty awesome. As for this, uh, crazy ancestral trinket, wow. How do we sort by, uh, character class restriction? No, I was gonna sort by, uh, rarity. That's what I wanted to do. There we go, and can we finally get Beth? Are we finally able to get Beth? No, there's no Beth. <laughs> no Plague Doctor. Man, we are having no luck finding Beth. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, that's that's good for now. Oh, we got Deeds, didn't we? We got Deeds. Ta-da! Fan the flames. Mold the metal. We are raising an army. Uh, more like 25 people, but, you know, it, it still applies. We are going to need a lot more deeds to start upgrading the actual levels, but now all of the upgrades will be as cheap as they can possibly be. And, uh, that's, that's great. What does it have to do for the guild? What do I got to do for that? I need portraits. Portraits for the guild. Lots and lots of portraits. Okay. Well, that was a fantastic episode. I can't believe we managed to pull that off without a death. Even if we were prepared. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I am uh, <laughs> going to take a long break from this game, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.